Laura here again with Fearless Femme Pole Dance Academy coming at you with another tutorial. So I mentioned last week that this week is going to be a little bit more difficult. So this is not intended to be a beginner move. Okay. If you cannot do a safe inversion, I do not want you to even try this one. Okay. Just put it in your little save tab and try it again later once you've progressed to that stage. Again, make sure you go and check out all my links down below. I have my website on there for lesson booking. You can check out my Zoom class schedule or get yourself a conditioning program and also go visit my Instagram. Sometimes I make kind of okay reels. This is the flip that we're going to be learning today. <laughs> so this pole flip, again, is not a beginner move. Okay, I want you to be at least have a solid inversion, particularly in the funky grip because that's what we're doing to go up and over. I am also going to put a mat down for safety reasons, okay? Like, ta-da! So I got my crash mat from overstock.ca. It's like a company in Toronto or something like that. It took a long time for it to get here, but it was pretty cheap. And it definitely makes learning flips and tricks a lot safer when you're at home, okay? I always suggest uh, getting a spotter to help you do this at first, but um, we're going to do it without the spotter and I'm just going to break it down to you. There's, We can break it down into three different movements for me to teach this to you in a safe way with our mat and really working up the strength to do this. So, since I can do it really good on my right side, I'm going to teach myself how to do it on the left side and show you guys. Okay, first, let me break down what the funky grip looks like, okay? So, the funky grip, essentially, it's just a really awkward feeling grip, okay? I find that once I got really comfortable with it, that this was one of my most solid grips, um, but to each their own. So, to do this one, you're basically going to put your arm out across your pole and you're going to bend backwards putting your palm up to the ceiling and you're going to grab kind of like in that claw motion in your outside hand it comes across in your cup grip okay i'll show you a couple different angles so you're going to come out wrap around into that elbow pit there and re-grip onto the pole like so I'm feeling it in my bicep, in my forearm, and in my fingers, okay? If I flex here, so engage my muscles, then it really, really locks me into that. So one last, one last angle, out, back to the other side, grab that pole, outside hand is gonna come across, okay? Okay, so we got ourselves into this funky grip. What we're gonna do here is that we're gonna kick up and grab the pole, with our inside leg. So the same leg as the arm that's gripping in this funky grip is going to grab the pole thinking brass monkey, okay? Okay, so outside comes across. So you don't want your arm up too high when you're gripping and you obviously don't want it down too low because that's just a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. Um, you want it about shoulder height, out and around like so. I like to really feel like I'm using that bicep to pull me up onto the pole. Okay, let's do the first step. All we're going to do is invert, grab the pole, and come back down, okay? So we're going to invert, grab, come down. Practice doing that a couple more times before you get comfortable doing the full rollover, okay? Okay, let's do that one more time. Kicking up, grabbing with that inside leg, hooking with that knee pit, really squeezing that heel to your butt so you can stay up there safely while you're learning this one, all right? Okay, then you're gonna take that outside hand off and put it down the pole. Okay, so notice how I've completely turned around. So now it doesn't feel like I'm doing a backflip. Now it feels like I'm just gonna kind of tumble down off the pole. Like so. Okay, so again, jumping up in your funky grip, grabbing with that inside leg, taking your outside hand in down to steady yourself then allow your legs to follow, okay? Let's do this a couple more times. Funky grip, outside grabbing. We're gonna kick up, grab with the inside knee, release that outside hand, re-grip down here. Let your legs come down really slowly, one at a time or both at the same time, depending. 
Okay, so the whole process of this is getting super comfortable with that motion of rolling over. And the more that you do that, the more confident you're gonna be with not touching the pole whatsoever. So I usually teach this trick in a progression just like that. And I am very adamant about not moving forward with a full flip around until you are comfortable doing that at a faster speed. I'll show you a more comfortable speed. Once you get more comfortable doing this faster, you should be able to tuck both of your knees to your chest and do a full tuck and flip backwards. You see this beautiful creature? Yes, I know you. Okay, I'm gonna show you from a different angle so you can get a better idea of what my leg is doing. Again, we are gripping with the inside leg. So the same leg is the hand that is your inside, okay? So inside, grabs around the pole in your funky grip and we're gonna kick up, grabbing. You can use that outside leg too to kind of lock yourself into the pole if you're a little bit nervous about letting go of this hand, okay? You don't have to do it with your leg free falling. You can grip here, so you have two points of con actually three points of contact, so you're nice and safe. This outside hand gets released, and you're gonna grab down, straighten your body out, release your outside first, then your inside. Okay, nice and controlled. Try really hard not to fall out of that because it doesn't feel very good on your shoulder. Okay, so now I'm gonna do it a couple more times to get my body super used to the up and over roll, okay? This is the beauty of progression. You can work this trick nice and safely without hurting yourself, but still build up the muscle and the confidence to do the full tuck and roll, okay? When you do the full flip, you're gonna come up like this, okay? You're bringing your knees to your chest as you do a tuck and over, and you're gonna look at where you're going, okay? The trick to going upside down and getting your body to move to where you want to be is actually looking in the direction that you're going, okay? So I'm gonna try this a couple more times, and then I'll try it without the pole because I have never actually done that without the pole before. Not on this side at least. Ooh, confidence. Ooh, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna give it a go with my knees tucking to my chest. So as soon as I kick up into the air, I'm gonna focus on bringing my knees to my chest like this and tucking into a little bit of a ball and looking up and over until I land, okay? So landing is not gonna be super, super smooth until you get more comfortable with it and then you can kind of learn how to release this inside hand as you're coming out of it, okay? You don't wanna release it as you're up in the middle of the air. You need the weight of your hips to be fully over before you try and release that inside arm, okay? Or else you're probably just not gonna make it. So here we go, balls to the wall, doing a tuck. Ah! <laughs> I can't do it. <sighs> Am I just like not strong enough to do it? Thank God for crash mats. <laughs> that was not smooth <laughs> whatsoever, eh? You're doing great, baby. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing up there, but I'm like pausing and freaking out at the top. Mm -hmm. It's all in your head. I can do this. <laughs> This is the one. This is the fucking one. Oh my god, why is it why am I sewing my head over this one?
that's not, I'm not doing it. Fuck that side. Let's regain my confidence because I cannot do a full smooth one on my bad side. So let's try it on my good side one more time. It's a really good thing to do for yourself when you're training. If you're just completely frustrated with trying it on one side, it's not working for you. Go back to your good side and reinstill some more confidence in yourself, okay? Because you can do it. Most of the time you're just in your head about it, okay? The faster you can snatch that tuck in the air, the smoother the whole movement is gonna be, okay? So one last time, again, I, again, this is my good side. I'm kicking with my outside leg, and I'm doing a tuck as soon as I get some lift off, okay? So here we go. <laughs> you land like you're a superhero, and that's one of my favorite parts about this. Okay, so to keep things kind of on track and what I have been doing, I am also going to attempt this in my heels, which is another first for me. I mean, why would you want to try it in heels? Only crazy people do that kind of stuff. <laughs> do you think I'll get it the first try? Mm -hmm. Okay, RIP to my ankles. Solid, Laura, solid. I can do this. Easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> A little bit terrifying though. <laughs> so <laughs> if you ever try this with heels on, um, try doing it the progressive way first by grabbing the pole. Don't just practice it a few times barefoot and then wing it in your heels. The only reason why I was comfortable doing it in my heels for the first time is because I have rubber ankles. Yeah, I've had a lot of practice in my heels. My ankles are pretty solid. Um, I have like rubber ankles when I like do trip up. So that is the only reason why I'm comfortable doing this. But if you are not comfortable in heels, you don't have to do this. Do it barefoot. It looks way cooler. Can you move piece? I'm gonna try one more time. Let's try this one more time on my good side, just to make sure I can do it, okay? <laughs> Another trick for if you're ever doing any kind of flips and heels is you don't want to land like solid with your legs straight. You need to have a bit of give in your legs or else you're really gonna hurt yourself. Every single time I do any kind of tricks with the pole where it involves me getting airborne for a minute and attempting to land on my platforms here, I'm always giving give like this, okay? Don't try and straighten those legs. You need to allow your body to come down, do that little bounce, your knees will thank you forever. So thank you so much for watching another one of my YouTube videos. Again, a reminder, if you didn't hear me, the amount of times I said in the beginning, this is not beginner friendly, so please do not try this as a beginner. Um, this is more geared towards intermediate, if not advanced people. Uh, so try it with the progression. It's gonna make your life way easier and help your body understand exactly the movement that you're doing in a safe manner. And again, overstock.ca to buy these crash mats so you can practice more dangerous stuff at home or take this little video to your studio and tell your instructor there that you would like to learn this and then they can safely spot you throughout the whole movement, okay? Um, I just wanna make sure that everyone is training safely because it's definitely no fun to injure yourself while pole dancing. I have been there before. Then you have to take time off and it just puts your training back. So please use these videos at your own discretion. Don't hurt yourself trying to learn something new. So thank you again. Make sure to click the like button, leave a comment if you have anything to say, subscribe, follow my YouTube journey. Next week I'm coming out with more beginner friendly combos again. So back to some easy stuff. Feel free to check out my links below and hit me up. I do build conditioning programs. So today that would be kind of like a conditioning program for you to start putting into your own training. The whole practicing, conditioning this grip, conditioning, grabbing the pole, and then conditioning, getting comfortable going all the way down, okay? So that's kind of how conditioning programs work. So try this out um, and let me know if you had success with it. I would love to see you guys do this one. 
So have fun with this one and make sure you train fearlessly and safely. I hope you guys enjoy watching me fail at trying to get a move as much as I do. That's why I record everything. Okay, I can't remember which side is my good side. Today. I love that you can see, like, you can see my boyfriend playing Minecraft in the background. 